Okay, yeah, you film. Because you can't do this. Okay, so what's going on is that, of course, we had to stop and get some water. I always get, I always drink water that's not from the from the yeah. well. I use the well water a little bit just for the bathroom. But you always get good water. Um, but what happens on these shores? Is you start stopping. It's stopping. <laughs> Luckily, my mom's not in the car because that would be a dangerous event. <laughs> Any deals out there, she'd be looking. Yeah. Uh, so we're just heading down the eastern shore now. And it's actually a nice day. It's probably like four or five degrees. And uh, daughter got a phone. I already said that. Yeah. Oh, secondhand store. Secondhand store. Um, last gas station <coughs> before she harbor. That's the thing about the eastern shore. There's not a lot of around here so this is the last one there you go. That's your gas is down but the run-in is free yeah. is that free wood i turned it into my mom <laughs> there's a stack of wood there and i was like hmm, could i put that in the back of the truck so we'll see you gotta get some wood we've been lucky with the weather though it has been cold and windy but it's uh it's gotten better it's nice today so still cold and windy yeah so my mom cold. beat us there. I'm sure she's out there buying stuff. So we'll see what happens. Um, anyway, so here we go. And of course, things that I've been avoiding doing, I gotta finish that shed because now this is a good thing about real estate investing is that with that shed, a one bedroom <coughs> bachelor are actually the best things to rent because you know a single person or whatever can can do it. So I gotta do work to it. Like I gotta fix the hole in the floor. I gotta fix the roof. I gotta put some better windows in there. I gotta put a door in there. Then it's gotta let me paint it because I don't trust them to paint it. Yeah. And then I'll also, you know, you gotta furnish it, which is actually not that hard. You can get free stuff. Which is another thing I'll do because I don't trust you to do that yeah. either. And I think I'm gonna put another wood stove in there like my grandfather had. Um, and uh, the other thing is I gotta put a bathroom in there. And that's usually the most expensive part because I gotta it's run. Bumpy. What's that? Okay. Bumpy. It's hard to hold yeah, it yeah so so anyways that's what we're doing and of course we're always looking for deals driving down the shore you sound like Manny. yeah the back of the truck's completely empty besides the surfboard so yeah i got a surfboard in there i got some wood in there and uh, i'm gonna try to try to get out in the ocean later today usually we bring our bikes but it's a little cold so um see what happens they're supposed to put a big gym down here actually <coughs> Like they're supposed to put a sports arena down here. It's pretty huge, like seventeen million dollar project. But I have to check in what happened. With it. Cause when I was younger, we lived off of Pool Road in Cheat Harbor. The reason they call it Pool Road because there was a pool at the end of the road. It's not there anymore. They filled it in. I think it's just too expensive. But that was a big thing about us coming down here because when we came down here, we could go, um, you know, we could go swimming or whatever. It's always fun in the winter. Oh, and I love this area right here, Sophia. Oh, yeah. It's Every really time shiny. I see it, I like imagine putting like something in that rock raw, like a restaurant or something, because I've watched too many videos. Oh, yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. yeah. This is Salmon River right here. It's good fishing. Yeah, that rock geography right there. I think that's much shale. Right there. It's rock. My friend Mads lives right there. I can see the buoy. Give him a honk. A little eastern shore uh, internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. And then actually not far we're coming up to where we're out in the Hundred Islands. And if you check one of our episodes, uh it's coming up that we go out in the boat in the Hundred Islands and I didn't have the I broke my phone and I didn't have the radar. Not the radar but the uh, don't say you broke your phone. You did not break your phone. You went windsurfing with your phone in your pocket. And you forgot it was there, and it was cracked. I got a phone. I'm not gonna crack it. <laughs> you got a phone. You've already cracked. Cracked that. Cracked the GoPro. Oh yeah, the GoPro's cracked. So, so it's like a waterproof. Yeah. So that you can get a case for it. You can get a case for it. That. Uh, well, yeah, they also got things for your phone in the dollar store. Yeah, yeah. But you the did, dollar store, but. I got a phone protected from the dollar store. Yeah. It's on my phone. You didn't. Yeah. So. That's what we're doing. My mom's, are, I'm sure, already there. She already texted me about buying this, getting that. I'm like, my mom loves the deals. I'm not saying I get it from her, but I do. Um, of course, I had to 
drive around and go get a, get a coffee. I'm never giving up coffee. So, yeah, we all know that. Yeah. Oh, and the Chinook Nook's coming up here too. Oh, that's some good, that's some good yard right there. That's not cheap to do that. So, as a kid, I used to come down here. We used to stop at these bridges. Oh, get the Chinook. Yeah, it's hard to see. Yeah. 